FBS first class cricketing career began during the 1910 season, when he came in as wicketkeeper against Kent. At the time, Derbyshire depended primarily on Joe Humphreys behind the stumps. Beat appeared again two years later in the 1912 season, keeping wicket in a three games and losing his own wicket only once. In the 1913 and 1914 season he earned a regular place in the Derbyshire team as a batsman until the First World War interrupted his career. On his return in the 1919 season he was Derbyshire's regular wicketkeeper and also scored five half-centuries, including his career high score of 92 not out. He played occasionally during the first half of the 1920 season, but was displaced behind the stumps by Harry Elliott. From then on he appeared in just two further matches for the Derbyshire first team in the 1922 and 1925 season, the last being at the age of 39. When Fred Root was the Derbyshire fast bowler and Beat was taking the catches, their combined names in many scores earned the pair the endearing name of Beat Root. Beat was a right-handed batsman and played 88 innings in 48 first-class matches with an average of 16.37 and a top score of 92 not out. He kept wicket in about half his matches and took 62 catches and 11 wickets by stumping. He achieved his ambition of umpiring a test match, during the 1946 season, but on his way home from this match between England and India, he was taken ill on a train and despite an operation he died at home at Summer Coats later that same year at the age of 60. Beat's son, George Beat, and grandson, Gordon Beat, were also cricketers who played for Derbyshire. 